Hello, my friends, and welcome back. I'm Chisco Gaming, and I just rolled out of bed to this absolutely insane future preview, which includes a new civilization, a new formation for city defense, new commanders coming out, 7K gem event. Like, the amount of stuff in this is absolutely insane. There's a city theme that flies. Like, this is crazy. And it's funny because I had this weird dream that I thought a bunch of things had happened and I woke up, I'm like, oh good, that didn't actually happen. My wife didn't actually go to the hospital with my kids. And then I see this and I'm like, oh my God, is this really, is, is this real or am I still dreaming? But this is real, so here we go, okay? 7K gem event. Always exciting to see a 7K gem event. If we zoom in on this, there's not a lot to see here that's too exciting. You decorate a sleigh, you're gonna wanna save up some gems to make sure that you can do this thing. 7k gem events are the most rewarding events in the game, so obviously, like, excited to see this, um, and also, just wait till you see the other stuff that's coming, okay? <laughs> because now there's this new event, the 2024 Christmas event series, kicks off on December 23rd, try out the new melon market event, collect melons, steal melons, sell melons. I'll be honest, I'm always excited when new events come into the game. I'm not going to be holding my breath too much because the fishing event is like, you know, you push a button and you get a result, right? But like, shop, visit, stall, steal. Today's price of a melon, 464 rabbit coins or dog coins or what? Melon coins? What even are those? Fish coins? What is that? I don't know, man. When it comes in game, it's probably, is it, is it a melon? It's gotta be, it's gotta be a melon, right? If we zoom back in on that, I, uh, I think it's probably a melon and it's probably just the picture quality that I can't tell. All right, melon event coming soon, but this is where things get crazy. The Dedalius Dirigible Christmas 2024 Zenith of Power City theme, 20% Cav attack. We're ushering in a new era of power creep, and at the forefront of it is the cavalry. Right on time, by the way, to get new commanders for cavalry, presumably a few months thereafter. I don't know, I suppose probably if I had 15% health, which I actually do, I would prefer it to the 20% attack, unless I'm like multi-rallying, maybe. But whatever, uh, that is marking a new era of power level in rise of kingdoms so we need to look at this moment and go hey y'all this is kind of a big deal and i generally don't know how i feel about zenith of power city theme power creep i think that because there's commander power creep i guess it makes sense to have the zenith power creep <laughs> and here we are we're up to 20 percent. i don't know a couple years from now are we going to be looking at uh 50 percent it feels almost like inflation, right? Like back when I was a kid, a loaf of bread cost a buck and now it's $8. All right. God, I'm old. New formation coming. Tercio formation. The game will literally never be the same. When the user is garrisoned in your city, all unit specific attributes, and that's attack, defense, and health, from the user's armaments, all apply to all unit types. Oh my God. This is crazy for multiple reasons. First of all, just wait till you see the rare and legendary inscriptions on this. They've got to be busted, right? Second of all, I thought city defense was already pretty strong. I mean, I've said for a long time, leadership in this game is weird because the armaments will never support it. And that's true. They like don't with the exception of like things that apply to all troop types. Mixed troops is like not a thing. Armaments give you a extra level of punch for but this does just for defending your city and that is really really interesting um and it will potentially make it so that a player that has this is like going to absolutely decimate anyone who rallies him so this is like a very potentially game balancing uh game changing balance shift in favor of city defense now if you're offline you're cooked anyways you're going to lose all your troops it's just a question of how much you take down with you and oh I, I mean this could be so powerful i think the thing that i find most perplexing about this formation is not as much what it's doing although i think it is absolutely earth shattering in its implications for the act of rallying a player city which like 
I'm having a conversation with Cortex right now. And he's like, so that's completely irrelevant, right? <laughs> and in some ways, he's not wrong. In other ways, like, oh my God, I'm totally going to get this formation, put it on my city and be like, come at me, bro. Even if I have like a second set of equipment on this set of armaments. But, but even then, like, it's not like I'm going to have equipment on my city garrison all the time, you know? So like, if I was offline and I got rallied, even if my wall garrison happened to have this on, like th there's definitely some weirdness to defending your city. Right. But, but he was like, how much does this matter, man? Like, it doesn't matter. He, I think his words, and I think he's not going to mind my saying it is like 10 freaks that don't field fight. Who's investing in a formation for city garrison. <laughs> hey, I'm not a freak. I'm not a freak. You're a freak. Nah, he's not a freak. He's my homie. Anyways, this formation, just wait till you see the rare and legendary inscriptions. Because, I mean, for every formation, they're really, really good. But like, oh, what are they going to do for city defense, man? That seems really good. Very, very powerful. Completely shifts the dynamic of city defense by like a jaw-dropping amount of stats, right? Unless you focus your troop types in your city on one troop type, which a lot of people do, but like chances are you have mixed. Almost every player's got mixed. So, like, whew, big. This is a big deal. Um, now, the thing that is kind of interesting is, like, mixed troops are very, very popular for flags, too, right? Like, very, 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 very popular. Just throwing it out there. But there's no formation that supports that. And if there was, I think it'd be pretty busted. So, like, I don't know how that will ever be balanced. I guess you just put the power level in the commanders and... Hope it sorts itself out with the armaments. All right, here we go. New epic engineering commanders. These two commanders. Uh, ha, I mean, <clears throat> how do I want to say this? They're commanders that obviously are going to look cool. The Vikings. I think the artwork here is very well done. But when I think about like, who do I want to embody when I embark into the battlefield, right? It's like Leonidas with his hourglass, body hair, and spear and shield. You know, you've got like Vikings, and then you got this guy. I feel I, in my mind, I hear the like British music playing in the background. Do, 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 do. Like, I don't know, man. It's just not, it's not my spirit animal, these two. It, and um, I'm glad there's new epic siege commanders coming into the game. Um, I'm sure that the siege players out there are going to have a great time with this. And I think this could be a great way to bridge people into siege. So I am actually excited this is a thing. And also, it's great that these people in history that I don't actually know much about are represented here. Maybe I should go do a Google search and educate myself. But instead, let's talk about the new civilization. New Civ coming soon. The thing that I is interesting is they're like, we're putting in these new Epic Commanders, but also we're putting in this new Civ, and this is the Range Civ. So two more ranged Commanders should be coming as well with the new Civ, maybe? That includes, I mean... One legendary, typically, and one epic. So I'm hyped for my end civilization. But when I saw that it granted a ranged buff, I was like, oh, man, I don't know, bro. That Civ I will literally never use. But, but ranged players deserve the Civ. Gosh darn it. And so here we are, the Mayan Civ. Does it look cool? Yes. Yes, it does. Gosh darn it. So Mayans, although... <laughs> They'll start out with, uh, I don't know, I just think old British style. Is she French? I don't know, whatever. They start out with, with the uh, upper crust, you know, look and feel, and then, boom, you, you transform to this. Coming at you like a, well, like this. This is what the two Mayans new look. The two new Mayans look like. Oh my god, I haven't slept much. I have a new baby. You just have to pardon my insanity. Two new Mayan commanders will also be making their debut. Super cool. These were teased like three centuries ago. It feels like that, um, and it was probably like a year ago. And here we are. I am so excited for whatever these new heroes are going to be. Um, 
one is legendary, one is epic, presumably, if it follows the pattern of the way that civilizations have been released into the game in the past. I would think that over here, by the way, we're probably looking at like, you know, 5% siege attack is probably the best stat for siege to get because you just sort of hope nobody hits you. And I get that you take counterattack damage, but like boohoo, right? You take some counterattack damage. So I, I think like, I'm not trying to be rude, but like, I, I think you probably want to attack, right? Um, I, I don't know if, if, oh my God, grant a ranged buff. What if it's not siege? I mean, it says grant a ranged buff. It has to be siege, right? But it's got to be siege stats, but is it also saying grant a ranged buff? Does that mean like, oh my God, are they couldn't be saying like and increase range damage dealt or something insane, right? Like uh, the the good news for siege players, okay. The great news, the the astonishingly amazing news for siege players, is that this is just a straight up jump in power level if if you main siege, right? Like just straight up, you are gonna have more stats than you did before. Get rec nerds, right? Like GG's siege will cook you. So I know siege players were like really. Up in arms at the release of the skill that launches like, isn't it like once every 10 minutes and cost gems? I don't know. Most kings are not going to pay the gems. <laughs> uh, just cool. Just taking jabs at everybody this morning. Okay. Siege players. Kings. <laughs> Cav players. Not really. I don't know. City defense players. Whatever. That's not how you throw a jab. Oh, God, do I make a Mike Tyson, Jake Paul joke? Okay, okay, okay. Stay on target, Cheesy. Um, other optimizations. KVK resource return makes KVK battles less costly. I would subtitle this differently. I would say lets you join the next fight sooner, right? Let's you play KVKs quicker or something like that. Like, yes, this makes KVK battles less costly, but for the sake of what? For the sake of your enjoyment of more KVKs more frequently. Heck yeah, this is a huge W, right? Unless you were already buying your resources, which like a lot of people do. And, you know, I'm talking about, of course, from the store, but let's just zoom in and see if we can figure out the exchange rate here. So what, what are we looking at? I see resources returned and they took this screenshot. Let's see here. Resources returned. I see the total percent returned. Oh, it's 10%. Well, I mean, it's not 50%. I see why they say make KVK battles less costly. Okay, okay, okay. All right, all right, I walk it back. I'm with you. Makes KVK battles less costly. 10%, 10%. I will take it, bro. And I hope they tune it up. Tune it up to uh, 50%. Okay, sweet. Resource speed up statistics. Comprehensive and sortable. Oh, cool. I can see how many speeds I have. I like this. This is great. 10 out of 10. Beautiful. Beautiful feature. Um, it, it's very common in this genre to do something like this. Players were doing this all on their own. I have my own spreadsheet. I mean... Be honest. Are, are you even playing the game if you haven't made a spreadsheet for like you gotta you have to have made a spreadsheet for yourself when you play this game, right? So like here we are. Spreadsheet the game now in the game. <laughs> uh I was actually on the uh Fateless podcast the other day talking about the relevance of gameplay. Fateless is a game dev studio uh where they're making a squad collecting battler. And you know, like look, I've I've played Raid Shadow Legends, I enjoyed it. I played um, before, before playing Rise of Kingdoms, uh, and, the, and the reason I discovered Rise of Kingdoms is because I was playing uh, Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes. Okay, so like I'm into that genre. But I was on their podcast and, we, you know, we were sort of talking about the state of games these days. And one of the things that uh, we talked about was, you know, like spreadsheet the game. And the, I don't know, I sort of pointed out, I accused them all. I was like, you know, you've made a spreadsheet, you're guilty. And they were like, yes, we are. Well, I'm guilty, and I bet you are too if you're watching this channel, of at some point spreadsheeting something for this game. <laughs> so anyways, now you don't have to spreadsheet this. It's here for you. I suppose there are services that these days you just 
you know, snap a picture and it adds it all up for you. But guess I'm just old man chess school. And that's the update. Wow. Cool. Honestly, this update is hype. I mean, Rise of Kingdoms has honestly been on fire. Like, I know that in my sleep deprived state, I'm like taking jabs periodically or, you know, siege. But like, this update is absolutely fire. And this new city theme looks absolutely dope. The thing flies, by the way. I don't know if I can show this little video of it or not, but someone posted a little video of this thing, like, you know, flying along, which is like, hey, yo, the devs figured out that the city themes don't need to just be, like, you know, on the ground and just sitting there. They could, like, do really cool stuff. And, like, the boat was insanely cool. This is, like, a flying contraption, which is really cool. I mean, I don't know. I always thought Cav players were a little cuckoo. Look at this thing flying in the air. Freaking lunatics. Chadsky. I don't know. I haven't slept. I'm just, I'm just having fun at this point. Um, honestly, though, like back on target, just cool. Yeah, this, this really, this is a really cool update. I, I am a little confused at the frequency of formations coming into the game. I thought this was like, I thought they said they were going to do formations once a year. And like, maybe I misheard because four formations this year later, <laughs> didn't we get, what, what did we get this year? A couple, right? More than four. Didn't we get like circle? Didn't we get the like, is it maybe, it's not Testudo, the one, the shielding and healing. Plus we got this one. Plus we got flag reinforcement. Plus we got combo. Like at least five this year, right? Am I, am I crazy? I don't know, man. The rantings of a of a raving lunatic. If you enjoyed the vid, throw a like on here. Subscribe to the channel. J you know, look, like I said, Rise of Kingdoms is on fire. These updates are great. 7K gem events on the way, too. You want to see the last uh, mail they sent? I have a card over here. I'm actually genuinely more excited about the game than I have been in a while. Like, excitement is rising, and it's so cool. I love this. Really hype with, with these changes. Until next time, you have fun smashing your enemies. I, I should get caffeine before I record next time. Or should I leave a comment? Actually, you tell me. Was I too lunatic in this? Or uh, should I do videos where I just roll out of bed more often? You know, let me know.